Okay guys, we are on a 2025 Jeep Wrangler and I have the Think Car 689BT and we're going to do a quick walkthrough, see if this will unlock the secure gateway module and we're going to do a walkthrough of the scanner to see what kind of uh, bi-directional test uh, this scan tool has on, on a 2025 Jeep Wrangler. Now most of these tests that this is going to show is sh should uh, transfer over to pretty much any 2025 Chrysler vehicle. So, so if you've got a different Chrysler product, uh, you can kind of get an idea of what kind of bi-directional controls you may have on that vehicle based on what this one has. Okay, so key is on. I'm going to do a automatic search. We'll hit OK. Now, you do have to be connected to the internet for the scan tool to send the signal to the AutoAuth website so that the scanner, so that it can get authentication to unlock the secure gateway module. This scan tool does need to be uh, registered on the AutoAuth website so that you can have full bi-directional control without using a, a 12 plus 8 bypass cable. Uh, you can buy the bypass cable and you don't have to register your tool. The problem is that sometimes the uh, secure gateway module, depending on the vehicle, can be a real bear to get to. So just pay the yearly fee, uh, register your scan tool, and you won't have to worry about that if you do a lot of your own maintenance. So this is just a disclaimer telling you that this car's got a secure gateway module. We're going to hit yes. Uh, my information should already be there. Uh, if you don't have an account yet, you can hit new registration. Uh, if you uh, want to set it up online, you can just go to autoauth.com and you can set it up that way. All you do is you put in the serial number of your scanner. I'm going to hit OK. And it should come back and uh, to tell us that the secure gateway module has been unlocked successfully. Has been unlocked successfully. So we should have full bidirectional control. And my plan is just to go down through and show you the actuation test and special functions. We might do a couple uh, bidirectional tests uh, just to show you that the bidirectional test is working. If you don't have your scan tool registered and you're, you're unable to unlock the secure gateway module, you will not have bidirectional controls. So I'm going to hit health report. Key is on. We'll just let it scan all the modules. This is an all-system scan tool, so it'll scan every module that you have on a vehicle. We're going to go ahead and go into the powertrain control module. And the, the main things I want to show you is the actuation test, the special functions, and the system test. Now, not all modules have system test. Uh, and not, in fact, not all of them have special functions or actuation test either. So here's the PCM actuation test. We'll go into special functions. So pretty good selection there of uh, special functions. We'll go into system test. Back out of this. Next one is the TCM. And no actuation test, but we do have special functions. And I did the same uh, same thing on the King Bolin K8 Pro. So if you want to compare the two, watch that video. I'll put it up in the upper right corner. And you can kind of see, you know, any differences uh, that you may want to know. Both these scan tools have free lifetime updates. I'm going to do actuation test. So you'll never have to pay for an update. Both of them will need to be registered on the AutoAuth website if you want to be able to unlock the secure gateway module. Special functions. And system test. Both these do have the same screen size. We'll go into the BCM or the tip them and we're going to do actuation test i'll scroll through let you take a look 
This is the bidirectional ability of the Scantil. This is this is what you're paying for when you buy a Scantil of this level. Is you're you're paying for these bidirectional tests that you're able to do. And special functions. And system test. Back out of that, we're going to go to IPC. That's the instrument cluster, instrument panel. Go to special functions and system test. And you know what? That'd be a good one right there. We're going to see if this will do a self test on the instrument panel. Uh, so I'm just going to tap instrument panel and we'll see what, what it does. It looks like everything lit up. All right. So if you wasn't sure if your instrument panel was fully you know, if there was lights or anything out, then that right there will fully light it up. And we'll do a couple more bidirectional tests whenever we get there. What I did with the King Bolin was a front sway bar disconnect test. And also locker. I think I accidentally hit something here. What am I in? Oh, supplemental restraint. Uh, we'll do, since I hit that by mistake, we'll go ahead and take a look at it. Special functions. I don't see any actuation test, and we got system test. We'll back out of that, and we'll see where we is at. We did BCM instrument panel, uh, TPMS module, and we'll do actuation test. We'll do special functions. And system test. Any lock brake system. Actuation. Special functions. Uh, and, and the supplemental restraint we just did a minute ago by mistake. We'll do electric power steering. No actuation test or special functions under that. Uh, steering column control module. No actuation test, but we do have special functions. Electric shifter, or wait a minute. Occupant classification module. Special functions. Electric shifter, actuation test, trying to get through this as fast as possible. Okay, what was this? Drivetrain control module, we'll do actuation test. Okay, so this one was what I did on the uh, King Bolin. You can see you've got a front and rear axle locker. Now. I'm going to stick the camera out of the window and I'm going to actuate those and it's a it's a click so hopefully you can hear it. First the rear. Okay, uh, hopefully you heard that click. I'm going to disengage. Now for the front. Engage, disengage. Hopefully you heard both those. So if you was having problems with your locker, you'd be able to troubleshoot it with this scan tool. Um, then back out of that, that was actuation test. We'll do special functions. Then we'll back out and go to the next one. What was that? 
Was that drivetrain control module? Now driver assist module. Special functions. Back out. Driver presence. No actuation test or special functions under that one. And that's not necessarily the limit of a scan tool. That's that the manufacturer didn't put any kind of bidirectional test for that module. So, okay, here's the sway bar disconnect. Uh, no special functions, but we do have actuation control. And the only thing we got is the uh, input-output control. So I'm going to hold the uh, camera outside the window again. We'll get here to the menu, and you should be able to uh, hear it. Now, it should be engaged right now because it's typically engaged normally. So we're going to disconnect the sway bar using the scan tool. And you should have heard that. That was disengaged. Now I'm going to re-engage it. And there it is, engaged. Whenever you back out of the uh, command, it puts it back to its normal state. And like I say, normal, its normal state is engaged. So if you was, uh, if you was having problems with the sway bar disconnect, you could use the scan tool again to, to troubleshoot that. Uh, telematic box. Special functions. Security gateway, there's never any actuation test or special functions underneath that, so I'm not even going to worry about that. HVAC. There is uh, live data and clear code and uh, retrieve code. DTCs. We'll scroll through the HVAC module for the actuation test. Then we'll go to, uh, well, that's all we got. We don't have special functions. Okay, that was HVAC, integrated center stack, actuation test. Quite a few under that. No actuation test under that. Radio. Okay, that was actuation test and special functions. And comfort seat. Seat wheel module. Actuation test. That's all we got there. And last but not least is the screen display module. No actuation test or special functions there. So that's pretty much it, guys. This was a 2025 Jeep Wrangler. And this is the ThinkCar 689BT scan tool. Uh, it is secure gateway module compatible, as you saw. And uh, been a very solid scan tool. So if you're looking at scan tools, it's going to be hard to beat this one. Uh, it does have free lifetime updates also. We're pretty much done. You guys take care, and we'll see you in the next one.